Yeah, man. Um, I'm going to show you how to remove a bridge from a, an acoustic guitar without using any heat. You know, there's an old Chinese proverb that says, if you're gonna be a surgeon, you better start practicing on cadavers. Now, I'm serious. Surgeons practice on cadavers. Now, wh why would they do that? Well, because believe it or not, for those who wish to become surgeons, there's a learning curve. And while they're learning, they're gonna make mistakes. So surgeons, generally speaking, prefer to make mistakes on, how should I put this? Patients who are not going to sue them for medical malpractice. Makes sense, right? So I have right here in front of me a cadaver, <sighs> Let me show you. Cadaver guitar, okay? I'm going to remove the bridge without using any heat. I, I'll be using only this. Oh, and this too. Ah, you'll see why. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, you see, sometimes you don't have a choice. Sometimes uh, you just can't use any heat to uh, remove the bridge. For example, on classical guitars, sometimes the bridge is lacquered. So if you heat it up, the lacquer will bubble up and, you know, you will ruin the lacquer on the bridge. Now, you know, it could be repaired, but it's just more work. And some guitars, good guitars, are actually built like violins. They're, they're built to be disassembled. Yeah. So the glue joints are made to be taken apart, okay? So uh, sometimes you simply have to do that. So what I like to do is I like to, well, I almost forgot to say, welcome back to Guitar Quackery, where we're about to do a dissection of a guitar right here in front of you. So yeah, back to my point. I like to practice on cadaver guitars so that if I am going to make any mistakes, I don't make mistakes on my customer's guitars because I care about my customers, yeah? And, you know, so um, why don't we get into it? Like, so this is just a practice exercise. It's not a, you know, this is a worthless cadaver guitar. I'm going to remove the bridge. Yeah, yeah, let's just get into it. As you can see, it's a Cordoba. Uh, there's actually a, a camera inside so that you can, uh, see what I'm doing here. See, there are a couple of screws here we have to remove. So um, why don't we focus on the bridge here? Uh, normally you would see um, these screws capped with two pearl inlays or something of that nature. Well, here I already did some preliminary work. Uh, it's capped with a piece of veneer. So if you ever have to remove a bridge like this, uh, you can, uh, you know, peel this off uh, and you can always uh, find another piece of veneer and now you can turn these screws. So let me uh, zoom out just a little bit so that you can see how I do it. So when you turn these screws on the inside, you will see that uh, the nut is turning. So, so now I'm holding it. I am removing the screws. Almost done. There you go. All right. So that's one of them. The other one. You might have to use uh, a wrench or some needle nose pliers for this normally but uh, to be honest I removed them once already just to uh, to make sure I could do this on camera and there you have it so these are the two screws with the two nuts okay we don't need them anymore now this bridge is 
firmly glued in place. Now I already started this whole process here. Let's uh, get a better angle here. So, um, yeah. So sometimes I get these guitars just to practice on. And that's a cold removal. Like I said, I already did this a little bit before. So I have to just, you can hear the glue crackling maybe. I don't know how long this is gonna take. You heard that, yeah? Yeah, one important thing is uh, you have to read the grain before you do a bridge removal. Uh, so as you can see, both sides are the same color. Uh, that means that uh, we don't have a up and down runoff of the grain. So we can attack this from any direction. You heard that? See how much I already removed? Ah, here. To be honest, I am rushing this a little bit more than uh, usual because I don't really need to worry about this guitar. And I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, I'm holding the bridge down. have it. So we remove this bridge without much trouble. Uh, the glue that was used here was, uh, uh, I don't know what kind of glue was used, some kind of glue, but that's, that's how we remove this bridge. Yeah man, we're done with this one. So well, I removed this bridge, it came off okay. Not as clean as I had hoped, but you know, okay. Uh, I've done it before. You see this one came out cleaner. This one, even cleaner. Okay, those were all cold bridge removals. So, uh, if you happen to be a, a repair tech, you need to find ways of working outside of your comfort zone, hopefully without practicing on customers' guitars. Um, and what better way to do that than to work on these kind of cadaver guitars. So just get a whole bunch of them. Oh, excuse me. Guitar quackery. Well, I was just about to explain. All right, but thank you anyway. Right. Oh, and please, subscribe thank you yeah, so the viewer wants to know where can can one find cadaver guitars so if you have your own shop sometimes people will bring guitars that are really uh 
in bad shape and you know outside of any budget or repair options so um, often people will say should I just throw it away you can just offer to buy it okay for maybe for twenty dollars something um, and then accumulate these guitars you can also buy them off of Craigslist or maybe your local Facebook you know any, anywhere um, so now uh, if you have your own shop you probably already know that you will have uh, slow periods when there's just no work now there's a difference if you run your own shop or if you work for someone else if you work for someone else you get paid by the hour plus commissions you know that's how it usually works so if there's no work you'll be okay right you get paid by the hour but if you uh, have to maintain your own shop and you have no work and you're sitting in your shop you're paying rent so you need to find ways to make money when customers don't show up work on these guitars and flip them so when you're done with a project if it works out okay sell the guitar at some later time and that's it now I just need a coffee oh speaking of coffee you can buy me a coffee yeah, just click the link below that says buy me a coffee you can also buy some guitar quackery merch it benefits the channel so I can grow the channel so I can share more knowledge with you so that you can benefit and make sure you subscribe so that YouTube knows what to recommend to you in the future click like if you liked it if you didn't like it don't click thumbs down just let me know because then I can improve right um, yeah and share so that the whole community can benefit from these videos that's it thank you and I'll see you soon